All right, I wanna do an update on this channel because I'm seeing a lot of comments come in. It's a new school year and some people are new to finding the videos here. So let's talk about what I'm doing. I'm no longer teaching Project Lead the way CSP or cybersecurity because I'm at a new school. I'm teaching computer science using the Project STEM curriculum. So I don't plan to make more of the CSP videos or cyber videos. You get what you got. I, I didn't do everything because I didn't like some of it. And I tried other things. I might make some videos for my new curriculum, but honestly, I don't need to because they actually make videos to help students along on the lessons. And they have a forum for students to post in through Project STEM and all those resources that I wish other curriculums had. So maybe I'll do some stuff, but maybe I won't need to. We'll find out. Uh, so another thing to say, so there's a lot of people watching the videos and I was debating just to like, hide it because I don't need it anymore. And, and I heard, I heard one concern about posting spoilers, but I'll get to that. I've heard a lot of things that are very positive with this. And I really want to keep these videos up. But first thing, if you're just using these to copy, like you're just cheating and you're dumb and you're going to get caught. Like when you just screenshot my YouTube channel, my students, did, some of mine did this too. Like that's really easy to catch. I can tell if it's a screenshot. If you're just copying the same code and like your teachers know that this is the same thing that was online, I mean, they're gonna find out and you're gonna get caught and that is dumb. Don't use this to copy. Use this to help you out. And teachers out there, if something is too spoilery, let me know some of the lessons. I can edit a video, I'm willing to do that. I don't know if some of those were early on. I try not to do like the big projects, just my version. I mean, that shouldn't be spoilery. And those lessons were tough, though. Um, just let me know. But, okay. what I So don't be dumb. Don't copy, kids. But I want to talk about why um, I'm doing this. And I want to show you responses that you guys had from the survey I did in my last video. So I did a, a survey of why did you access all of these, why do you use these videos? And I had 191 responses. Now, these were... Of those, only 15 were my students. We had a parent, we had 19 teachers, and a 500, what, 156 students from all over the country and all over the world. And it's all right here. You ever it's, wanna go through this, or you're some teacher or educator or interested to hear about this more, just reach out to me. I'll share you some more raw data on that. But here's a summary of what students said. Now, my students said they just needed help. They couldn't access PLTW. They missed class and stuff. That's what my kids, they just wanted that extra help. But what are the kids that aren't in my class saying? Uh, they had trouble understanding the content and they liked the explanation. They just want to understand things better. It helps them pass the class because, hey, maybe they missed it. Hopefully they're not just cheating. A lot of times I get a lot of comments that are basically my teacher doesn't teach in different ways. And, you know, I, I'd say to this, like, it, that was especially during the pandemic. Who knows who your teacher is? I mean, maybe your teacher was a long-term sub in the class because you know their computer science teacher is no longer teaching at the school and they moved. And now you're stuck there with a long-term sub who doesn't know the curriculum and didn't go to training because the school didn't send them. Uh, you're going to need some help. And you can't find that help through the PLTW online curriculum. It's not no video form there. Um, but it's tough for everyone, folks. And whatever. Don't beat them up too much. Distance learning sucked. Sometimes people miss class. They just have fun watching, I guess. Maybe it puts you to sleep. They need help understanding. Online learning isn't that fun. Yep. And some people, but some people are positive. A lot of comments along the line of my teachers are very good at explaining things. But you just like the video because maybe it helps on parts that they missed. Well, the teacher wasn't good. Because I'm like that too. Like my math classes, a lot of times my students didn't understand things in math. You know what? They're not going to my tutoring. They're going to the other te math teacher calculus tutoring because they probably did it differently and maybe they like that better. That's great. Like that works. I want to read this comment right here. This is from a student. I get lost every once in a while. I can do my homework in the video and it helps me learn the individual parts of my compute of computers. Teacher explains the logic well, but some other things aren't explained well. But check this out. 
I can learn from how you troubleshoot. Many other videos simply give the most efficient solution, which doesn't help me learn, but your videos have excellent engagement. I can feel I can complete the entire package of CSP with your videos. Thank you for that comment. But, you know, I, I, I do these and I post these because maybe you want to see it. Maybe you're interested. I feel that person's trying to learn. They are not just copying. You wouldn't have to write that comment. You know what? I'm glad it's out there. I hope you see more videos like this. Because that's how you learn. People get stuck. People need the help. I'm getting feedback like that. I want to keep doing more of this. And I know teachers were saying the same thing too. So I want to leave this available. If you want to talk about it more, reach out. Kids don't copy. And have fun. Thank you.